Hello and welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome if it's your first time. And today it's time for another chilling tale from Creepy Norfolk. Today we're talking about Black Shuck. Old Shuck. Shucker. The Devil Hound. The Black Dog of Death. Or in Norfolk, a snarly owl. He sounds a whole lot less threatening. Typically Norfolkese. So, what is Black Shuck? Well, as others, other names may have given it away, Shuck is a hellhound. A massive, very shaggy, hairy black dog with glowing red eyes. Or in some accounts, a single cyclopean eye in the middle of his forehead. Now, tales of these kind of hellhounds, giant black dogs, go all the way back to Norse mythology. So, Marit, we're going to Norway. Um, Odin, king of the gods, in the ancient Norse pantheon had a black hound and this is where the tales of Shuck believed to have originated from. There have been sightings all over the world of these creatures. For some reason they've become synonymous with this area. East Anglia, Norfolk, Suffolk, Essex, the Cambridgeshire Fens, even as far as Lincolnshire. And goes back, first written record, I'm looking down because I have made notes today. The first written record in print was by a Reverend E.S. Taylor in 1850 in his Notes and Queries. But he's recounting a story from the 4th of August, 1577, which goes from, or comes from, Abraham Fleming's account of what happened in Bungie and Blytheborough churches in Suffolk on that very same day. Obviously, as with all these things, legends, folklore, <coughs> myths, whatever you say, there's normally a kernel of truth in there somewhere. And the tales over the hundreds of years, we've all played Chinese whispers, they get embellished somewhat. But if we go back to the original story, which Let's take into account it will have been embellished and made more fantastic with the centuries. There was a, a mother of all storms going on, as you might be able to hear. Well, that, that's just background music, don't worry. Um, there was a mother of all storms going on on this Sunday the 4th of August. And the congregation were all in Blytheborough Holy Trinity Church. And they heard a chilling howl outside, above the wind. And with a clap of thunder, the doors of the church burst in. And in raced a gigantic black dog with glowing red eyes. Obviously demon spawn and proceeded as it ran past a man and his child dropped dead and then according to the story the steeple collapsed as well in the church now I think we can probably put that down to a very very bad storm and let's be honest medieval building practices <whistles> annoying phone beeping on the very same day in Bungie, St Mary's Church, 
they were at prayer as well. And somehow Shuck made it from one to the other. Came bursting into that church. Killed two more people, apparently by breaking their necks. And left. Now if you go to Blyther Church, Holy Trinity, to this day on the north door you can still see the scorch marks which apparently were left by Shuck's claws as he exited the building. Now these are fantastical stories. I'm not saying for a moment these things happened. I'm not saying they didn't happen. Just not quite according to how they've been recorded over the centuries. And over the centuries, as we're going back to year dots basically worldwide there are tales, stories, legends, folklore of giant black hounds with red eyes and all sorts of various different myths spring up around them the most usual ones in this area at least are that if you hear his howl you have to close your eyes because apparently to see Shuck means that with, before the year is out, yourself or a member of your family or a close loved one will die. But then you get the other side, where Chuck has apparently led lost people to safety in the fens. Here's, there is a written record. I didn't write all the notes down, I can't quite read my own handwriting where a district nurse and midwife had just finished delivering a baby late at night and she was cycling home and became aware of a presence as she looked round to her horror there was Shuck Shuck taken from the old English I should have said this earlier you know what I'm like it's taken from the old English for Shooker which means devil or fiend and that comes from the root word scoo, which means to terrify, or terrifying. Etymology, I find it interesting anyway. So, scoo, scooker, shuck, snarly owl. I have no idea why Norfolk people came up with that, but there we go. Anyway, so shuck is following this district nurse midwife as she's on her bike she's pedaling like crazy and he's just keeping up with her loping along no no sound being made at all his footfalls are totally silent and cycling like crazy legs going ten to the dozen and she turns around again he's completely vanished That ties in with some of the other things that are said about Shuck. He's more of a guardian, a protector. But he's, he's a churchyard warden, basically. Looks after and makes churchyards safe. Makes sure nothing untoward happens. But the dead stay in their graves. And again with the leading people out of the fens. Perhaps on that night he was protecting that midwife from something that she didn't know was there. Perhaps there was someone waiting for her to do something nasty. Perhaps there was another creature about that night. Chuck was making sure she got home safe. I'm just having a look at my notes to check I've gone through everything I've got written down. Yes, we've gone through all the notes. So now we can go through what I think. It's not really a case of what I think. It's a case of what I experienced. It was the summer of 1987. Summer, I said autumn of 1987. Half term. Of school 
only a week, but you know, a week at that age is quite a long time. And myself and two friends were playing down in Silfield gravel pits just outside Wyndham. I say playing, we were down by a small pond catching frogs and minnows and sticklebacks, having a great time. It started to get dark. We didn't think much of it, you know, as kids do. We don't really pay attention to these things, none of us were wearing a watch. When my friend, and I'm not going to name names here just in case they watch, or people know who they are, ex exclaims with swear words, Oh, it's a shuck. Now, not being a Norfolk native, I had no idea what what or who a shuck was. So I looked as he's pointing. So I look in the direction he's pointing and on top of the mound of gravel. It dug out and mounds of leftovers have been left around. We see a massive black dog, like a Labrador, just on steroids. Thick shaggy coat and two red eyes just staring straight at us. So, my friend, obviously having known of the stories, started running. At which point myself and my other friend figured, if he's running, perhaps we should too. So, we all did a runner, got out of gravel pits, back onto the road, back to where there were street lights and it's like right okay what the heck was that so I asked Jamie what was going on when we got our breath back I was like, oh, I'm not going to talk about it I'm not going to talk about it so I told you I was not going to name names but I can't remember the surname so anyway I didn't feel scared there wasn't any fear in the encounter bear in mind I was living in a haunted house at the time and I was going through some issues as well. This was shortly before I got put into foster care. So I was like, okay, so he won't tell us about it because he's scared. He went straight home and we didn't see him again for a few days, well, for the rest of the week. It wasn't until we went back to school. So the next day, I took myself back down, back out and went to the local library. Well, looking through and did a bit of research and read up about Shuck, the Black Dog of Death, and all this stuff. But, ooh, scary. Well, these things they come out at night, so it's middle of the day. It should be safe to go back down there. Go back to the gravel pit, thinking, well, we were here. He was over there, right? So if I go up on the top of that mound. Has it been raining? It's autumn. And it was soft ground. It was soft sandy soil and wet. We know how easily that leaves a, an imprint. You can see our imprints, our footprints all over the place from the previous day. I go up to the top of this mound. Looking around there's little to no vegetation. The ground is bare. There isn't a single paw print to be seen. That was when I realised it wasn't just a big black dog. We had seen Chuck. Now, to be fair, I don't know about the other guys. None of my family members died before the year was out. But it's been over 30 years and I remember the entire encounter like it was yesterday and I can't remember yesterday so I hope that's been interesting a little bit scary perhaps or just something to help you fall asleep to anyway thank you very much for watching if you like this kind of content let me know I want to see if I can stir some more stories up anyway Stay safe.
don't forget like comment subscribe all that stuff does help the channel I promise if you've got this far thank you very much also memberships to the channel is now open as well if you feel like you want to join the channel and become a Zach friend go for it and as I was saying before I got carried away with the blurb thank you very much for watching Sleep well, say your prayers, peace out, rock on, bye bye. <laughs>